chef. I'm going to be making some chutney today. This is my friend Carmen's recipe. It is a long process. We're going to cook a lot of hours today, but we're making a big batch, which we're going to divide half for her, half for me. And you know what? I'm going to have gifts for my friends. It's delicious. I know you guys are going to love it. So let's make this. Let me show you what we need for it. Okay, guys, this is everything we need for our chutney. It's a lot of stuff, but remember, I'm going to split this with my friend Carmen, and then I'm going to bottle a bunch of it to give away to my friends. So don't get afraid. Don't worry about it. This is a great gift to give any time of the year, okay? So one thing I want to tell you, I want you to have all your things prepared ahead of time so that you're not chopping things, you know, last minute because that's going to drive you nuts. Because we're going to do this in two phases. First, we're going to put... Uh, our base and we're going to let it cook for half an hour and while that's cooking we're going to be uh, boiling our fruit and mashing it. I'll show you the whole process, okay? But let's start with our base. Our base is eight cups of white vinegar which I'm going to put in the pan, okay? And I, this pan started heating already because I don't want this to take, you know, two years. <laughs> okay, I have four pounds of white sugar, okay, which I'm going to add to the vinegar. And then I'm gonna add, these are, guys, these are two heads of garlic, which are minced, two whole heads, okay? So we're gonna put our garlic in there. We have one pound of, of uh, raisins, which will go in there. We have a lot of ginger, which we've minced. So, you know, this is about a cup of ginger, okay? Which is minced, so we'll put that in there. These are about five large jalapenos, which we seeded. We took out the white fiber, and they're minced. We being myself and Carmen, who gave me the recipe, and is very shy, doesn't want to get on camera. So, you're stuck with me. So, here's the jalapenos, okay? Now, we have five onions here, which we've minced. We have two red, little ones, two white, little ones, one yellow, okay? They're all minced. This is also going to go into our base. So, guys, this is like very, very flavorful, very tasty. Uh, we have two tablespoons of salt, okay? This is one tablespoon of, uh, of uh, curry powder, goes in there. One tablespoon of turmeric and one teaspoon of paprika. We have one teaspoon white pepper, one teaspoon cayenne, one teaspoon black pepper. And now we have a, tab a, a tablespoon of allspice. So that, my friends, is the base. I'm going to mix it, and we're going to let this cook for about half an hour, okay? Let me mix it for a minute here. Mix it well. And it's going to come to a boil, and then I'm going to lower the heat and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay, guys, so for the second part of this, while our base is boiling, Remember, you have to mince everything really, really small, okay? Because that's, that's going to be your base, and you don't want big chunks of onions and big chunks of garlic, okay? So take the time to mince your onions and your garlic and your ginger really, really well, okay? So, okay, I have that boiling already. We said we're going to let it cook for 30 minutes. So now, while that's cooking, this is what's going to happen on this side. Right here, I have four red tomatoes, which I peeled. I put them in boiling water, took off the peel, chopped them, okay? Uh, there's six tomatillos here, uh, which, you know, we just cut. Now, it doesn't matter. This doesn't have to be cut in little pieces because we're going to put this in the water like I'll show you in a minute, and then we're going to mash it. So don't worry about mincing this part, just the, uh, the first ones from the base, okay? All right, so then I also have four green apples here, which I cut into pieces. I have five pounds of, this is banana squash. It's pumpkin. You can use any kind of pumpkin or squash you want. Don't use spaghetti squash because that'll be yucky. But I found banana squash at the supermarket, so that's what I bought. So I got five pounds. This is a really big pineapple, okay? So again, I cut it into chunks. And I'm going to peel these and cut them into thirds when I'm ready to use them. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting... I have a big pot of boiling water in here, and I'm going to be putting my ingredients one by one into the water, okay? And let's start with our pineapple. So... I'm going to just put my pineapples in here. I don't want to get burned. Ah! Like that. This is a nice tool for you to have, okay, uh, for this kind of project. They're very cheap at any Chinese supermarket or 
you probably can find them at World Plus or you know any any store like that. Maybe even at IKEA. Who knows? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this boil until the fruit is soft enough for me to mash. Okay, so I'm gonna. This is how I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna dish one out and I'm gonna mash it. And when it mashes, it's ready. And so I'm gonna put this on the side in a bowl, just scoop it out of my water, and I'm gonna do that with all my other ingredients. So I'm gonna have a big bowl of mashed fruits, and then we will go back and we will put it, we will, uh, put it in our base, and that has to cook and cook and cook until it has uh, the right consistency. Okay, everything is in here already. Okay, the fruit, the tomatoes, the bananas, everything. Now, you have to be stirring this about every 10 minutes, okay? You want it to be on a very slow simmer. You don't want it to, your, your burner to be too low or too high. You don't want that. And the reason you gotta be stirring this every 10 minutes is because you don't want the bottom to burn. You remember, we put four pounds of sugar in this, okay? Now, you can see there's a lot of chutney here, and we've discussed that, don't worry about it. This is for a lot of people. And you might be wondering what you're gonna do with this. Chutney goes excellent with, with pork, it goes excellent with ham. You can eat it with, uh, with curry dishes, just a little bit, you know? It has a consistency kind of of a marmalade, but it's got that, it, it's a, a, like a sweet and sour taste. You're gonna like it, it's very, very good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let this cook. It's gonna have to be simmering for about two hours, like I told you. And uh, as I said, I am gonna be stirring it, stirring it every every ten minutes. You know, you need to watch out because this might start splattering. Okay, so be careful. Don't burn yourself, and just be careful. Don't leave your kitchen. This is, as I said, an all-day project. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, guys, this is ready. It has been cooking for about three hours. I told you two, but it took about three hours. It's been simmering and on low. Look, if you see this, it has a thick consistency. It's like a marmalade, like I told you. I have been stirring this every 10 or 15 minutes. I do not want, I didn't want it to stick to the bottom and burn, okay? So it's ready. So now I'm going to jar it. I want you to go ahead and get yourself some, some, uh, some jars and read the instructions on the package on how to do this, but I'm trying to tell you how I'm doing it now. What I did is I put these in hot water and I let them, I, I let the water boil and then I put my, uh, my jars in it and they're very hot. So I took them out. I have two sizes, ouch, ouch, this size and a smaller size, okay? I put them head down and I'm going to fill them. I'm not gonna fill them completely. I am gonna leave about a fourth of an inch empty in there. I need to get rid of the air, seal them and then and then they go back in the water and boil for a little bit okay go ahead and read the instructions on your on your uh, box and do as they tell you so that you can preserve it this is going to keep for a long time if you do it right okay so all i wanted to do was show you how i'm going to fill these out now because i'm going to give these out as gifts i'm going to make a little nice uh, label put the ingredients on it and give them out so how easy was that it took a long time but it wasn't hard was it okay so here we go this, this is cooled down a bit. I'm just gonna show you just for purpose of showing you how I'm gonna fill this up. This is hot, but it tastes really good. Okay, I'm gonna seal this. And while I'm doing the rest of my jars, I'm gonna just go ahead and, and put this down on its head like that so we can get rid of the air. So there you have it, my friends. A frugal gift from your kitchen, thefrugalchef.com. Come on over, we got all kinds of recipes, frugal, delicious, natural food, and we were gonna start a whole series on these frugal gifts that you can give to your friends, Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, any day, you know, nice fun stuff to make in your kitchen that won't cost you a bunch of money. We'll see you soon.